four days ago I had a surgery hello my lovelies and welcome back to another video it's really nice talking to you like this again from my home it's nice to be back for sure what's not nice is that I'm a little bit homebound which sucks if you ask me because I am someone that just cannot stay still for five minutes and I've always had this issue maybe I should go into it a little bit but what I wanted to say is, towards the end of my Paris Fashion Week, I started receiving uh, messages from some of my friends, specifically, like, so funny, my friend Mary, she, like, messaged me, she's being like, where did you disappear? Why are you not posting anything on your stories? Towards the end of Paris Fashion Week, I, like, injured my foot a little bit, which was anyway, like, a problematic foot, because I actually have very, very, very difficult skeleton, so, like, my bones in general are, like, another thing. I've never, touched wood, broken a bone in my life, because um, I have hyper elastic bones which means that they're just weird i've always had it since i was a child i had to go to physio for many years but what is good about it is that i'm very elastic the bad thing is that these bones kind of tend to grow in weird ways and like you guys know that i have like the sternum bone like a little bit weird and sort of like my rib and like certain things are a little bit strange on my body yes but anyway i ended up having to have a surgery on my foot on the day before the last day of Paris Fashion Week so I had to urgently go back to London and have this surgery which is now this is my orthopedic shoe but it looks like my Chanel sandal so now I've had foot surgery how many days ago it seems like forever ago because I'm so bored at home <sighs> four days ago yes and I'm fine and I want to go and run marathon my doctor told me to take painkillers but I'm not really in pain everything's going well I hope but I just have to stay at home for like two more weeks I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do I don't know how people do this when people stay for a long time at home I really really have so much respect for you but today's video is gonna be a lot more fun food surgery aside I am kind of like forced to be in this environment because I can't really sit on the bed for that long I'm not able to actually go into certain like body positions So I cannot really set up how I would normally set up the camera Which is why you're having this view of me and I have no jewelry as well You will notice because I had to remove everything from my surgery and I didn't put it back on since what I'm gonna tell you is that today's video is actually quite exciting I'm actually very very happy to film it because I have so much to talk to you about since I've been traveling now for six weeks and those six weeks were really really incredible men's fashion week, art couture, Copenhagen fashion week, New York fashion week, London fashion week, Milan fashion week, Paris fashion week, seven fashion weeks in six weeks back to back with Courchevel in between I have not been home for six weeks and honestly like it's been the most incredible fashion month of my life it's been amazing on both career and personal in both personal and career way i really enjoyed them i had really great time with my friends and um somehow i feel like i grew much more than i did ever before in my life i managed nothing is sponsored in this video but i managed to really wear a lot of different designers because i got dressed by many houses many houses offered to dress me and to let me pick something really beautiful to wear which really helped me because i could then see what i really really loved and what i wanted to get or what i didn't like etc and i thought that it would be really amazing if i film a video at the end of the fashion one telling you what were the beauty products and what were the fashion products and what were the accessories that i kept returning to this whole journey so i am gonna do the beauty bit as well at the end uh, so if you're interested only in beauty you can skip to and if you're interested in watching like the fashion part you should just get in now i want to say that this knit which i got in january is for sure one of my absolute favorites it's from isabel moran i will link it below and i adore it it's amazing so without further ado let's get straight in fashion belt there were two belts that are really really worn throughout the fashion month one is by Bottega Veneta and I've spoken about it many times before I don't really have a picture of me wearing it I think it's also sold out so you probably will not be able to find it the other one that I love and I highly recommend you get would be the new Valentino uh, belt this belt is a little bit on the pricier side but it's two-sided so I got a black one it's the thick one pay attention when you're buying this belt because it comes in different thicknesses so you can just order one and with this thick so i will link it below for you guys to check it out i got the black and the red so it's reversible you basically take this little thing off it's like hermes belts if you're familiar with hermes belts this is how they as well function so it can be red or it can be black which i think is fabulous especially when worn over a blazer which is exactly how i worn it in, during paris fashion week i worn this belt 
to Lanvan fashion show. I actually really love how I styled it in terms of like not that I'm so good at styling but in terms that I liked how I felt with what I wore. It was like a perfect everyday look and for me this was just something that um, I really really enjoyed and I think this this belt will be amazing. Perhaps I got the wrong color combination. Maybe I would have benefited more of black and beige than black and red but I think black and red also will be freaking fabulous sunglasses i have two pairs that i want to show you this chloe pair which i think is ridiculously beautiful is available on net at the moment and it's a very cool pair of orange glasses sunglasses i just think these look fabulous in the street style um i really really like them i think they're very cool so these are the sides of these sunglasses i think they're very very beautiful they remind me of summer you know so i really really like them these sunglasses are sort of different dirty montagne is kind of like i went out last night with my friends it got out of hand and i got home very early and that's why i'm wearing the same dress and now i just decided to put these sunglasses on i'm not looking from the experience <laughs> paris fashion week really was so much fun that it was almost kind of that kind of paris fashion week like it was just so much fun i i loved it but i got so exhausted towards the end of it some of you were messaging me saying tomorrow you look so tired please rest but i think it was just like the foot and the pain kind of combined so yes i did not experiment much with the jewelry throughout the fashion month you guys know how much i wear my like maria tash earrings which are usually in my ear anyway but this month I wore a lot of uh, Misoma jewels, specifically my usual hoops, which is this one over here, and the Twisted Collection new earrings, which are also kind of hoops or chains, however you want. So these two were my most worn earrings of the month. I adore these like i love them so 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 much and actually at the moment misoma has got women's like international women's day kind of discount i believe you will get 20 percent with the discount code which i will insert here i think 9th of march which should be today when you're watching it is going to be the last day so if you go check the description box for the exact code copy the code use the code get a 20% of these. These are amazing. Like, I honestly, I have worked in the past with Misoma. This is not sponsored. I just know that they have the International Women's Day discount, but I'm not sure what exact code it is, so I will write it in the description box below. I honestly have purchased so much from the brand. I have so many pieces from them. I love them, and I wear them all the time. I also have the twisted necklace, which I wore a lot. Even, even with this in it, I wore it, so you guys know it. Let's go through my fashion clothing favorites. So, got a Balmain dress on a Louis Vuitton hanger, not sure why, but c'est la vie. This dress I wore to Balmain fashion show and I love it so, so, so much. Like, it's a really, really beautiful piece. Um, I will insert a picture. I will insert a picture because I cannot put everything on because of the stupid foot. I will just insert pictures of me wearing it. So, you can wear it as a dress or you can wear it as a top. Uh, you can wear it with like black flare jeans. I actually have a Versace ones and you cannot really tell where they're from or whatever. But if you wear it with just simple black flare jeans, it looks so cool the look or you can wear it as a dress and then it's much sexier. I really, really love this dress. I think it's a beautiful evening piece and I have quite a few evening pieces here that I would like to share with you. One thing that I'm so sad I cannot show you is the Louis Vuitton jacket that I wore in a post where I had the total Louis Vuitton look. It's from the pre-fall or like autumn winter collection and it's something that I borrowed as like a sample from the showroom and I wanted to buy afterwards because I tried it on and I was like this is the best jacket I have ever worn in my life like the best however it sold out everywhere I then checked online sold out everywhere in Europe sold out everywhere in the world basically kind of thing <sighs> got me very 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 sad but there's worse things in life <laughs> i mean you know i'm not gonna cry over it but i really wanted to buy that jacket it was my favorite piece that i worn throughout the fashion week and if i could i would really buy it in like a split second so it's amazing a dress that i got gifted from uh the brand is this rotate dress i love the brand i love rotate so much i attended their copenhagen fashion week show i love the girls janet and thora who create behind rotate they're just incredible and beautiful and so fashionable but this dress is something special it has these little frills at the bottom it was also a lucky dress to me but it has these like frills at the bottom and it's uh, a wrap dress but um doesn't like kind of make your like body look awkward it really hugs it nicely so i really really liked it and i think this would be quite an affordable price point of a dress we have still with the tag on 
Sometimes when like tag is at the back, I just forget to remove it. I'm sorry. A Peter Doll blazer. Now this blazer is insane. This is so beautiful that like I have no words. Peter Doll is a brand that I really, really, really love. It's available on Etaporte. It's a little bit expensive for a new designer, but I think a talent like that needs to be rewarded because he needs to keep creating and you know like it's really harder for people who are just starting than for big companies so i really love this it's sort of like a crop blazer with shoulder pads and it has a belt which really sits nicely on your waist and i'll insert the picture of how i worn that as well and then we have a pair of trousers these trousers are so fabulous that i want a matching blazer too now it's they're from jack moose the material is really cool it's kind of like a crap I really wonder, I, I want to check exact name of this material, crap silk, right? No, it's a viscose silk. So, viscose silk in hot pink, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. When I wore this, I felt like a Barbie doll. I really love them. I think with white crop top and a denim jacket or a whole set. So my friend Vicky, uh, she wore like a whole suit on. She's blonde and she looked adorable. But for me, these, these trousers... Are just amazing i really 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 love them next up is something that you guys also loved you could have seen me wearing this during my london fashion week video and it's the sakai kind of parka type of jacket i love this jacket so much i'll insert some street style shots of this love it i love the whole set together with the shorts i do believe the shorts are not really for everybody i guess not everybody's gonna love it but i think the jacket is amazing and sakai is just one of those brands oh my god it has actually a, like um little hood right yeah here at the back it's like a proper parka i think sakai is a beautiful brand i love it so much i also have these military green trousers from the brand that i purchased on sale i'll insert the picture also one of my favorites of fashion month i really really love those trousers at the same time during the sale i bought these white trousers that i wear wore during milan fashion week at todd's and then um, my manager posted a picture of sophia ritchie in them saying like i'm obsessed with sophia ritchie like she's obsessed with Sofia Ricci and I was like, but I wore them first, which doesn't really mean anything and nobody really cares. I bought them on sale. They were like hundred something pounds. They were so affordable considering that it's like a designer piece uh, that I got and they're so beautiful. I got so many compliments on them. So I highly, highly, highly recommend them. In fact, they're from a Georgian designer, Alexander Akatishvili or something like that. I love Georgian designers from Material to Bilsi, like... Alexandra Katashvili, like these designers are just so talented, so different, and I love their designs. So, shall we break it off a little bit? Attico, I've worn them a lot. For the first time ever, I've worn them during the Fashion Week, Milan, I believe. Uh, these Attico shoes, I remember when I bought them, I was not sure if I'm gonna wear them a lot, if they're gonna be perfect. They're more than perfect. I love them, they're beautiful, they're so comfortable, and um, I wore them when I wore the Valentino belt as well. My new Bottegas, they look like they're unworn, almost, <laughs> but they're heavily worn already. I wore them many, many times. The first time I wore them was when I got invited by Vogue Italia, like very exclusive dinner uh, to preserve Venice. And I wore them and they're so comfortable because I don't, I think I have mentioned this before, but Bottegas done their spring summer collection in a way that they've kind of done things very different. So they have layered all the, all the cashmere, like they recycled all the cashmere that they use in their production and they've layered it in the sole so this is so soft i don't know if you're going to be able to see this so this bit here is very soft i don't know how to show you but it's extremely soft these are the most comfortable high heel sandals that i have ever had not even to mention the handmade kind of work here this is just so beautiful and another pair of bottega heels are these beautiful ones i worn the life out of this considering i've only had these for a month look how much i've worn them i'm embarrassed to show you this even this is crazy wearing them in new york london milan and paris done love these shoes so much a coat of the year the best purchase was my saint laurent coat i don't know if i have any pictures of me wearing this but i'll try and insert some clips videos or whatever i can find i really 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 love this coat I don't think it's expensive considering how great it is. I think it's the best money spent. I also think that for the same amount you can buy a blazer. So this is crazy. Well, for me this is crazy. I know blazer you can wear whole year long. But this coat is just forever. And it's the best coat I own. Another evening dress that I really liked. Ooh, the white retrofit dress. This is great to have in your suitcase. If like me you're an impulsive person. You might just decide to get married during fashion week. <laughs> Not that I got married. Don't worry. Just 
joking but this is so beautiful I love this dress I worn it quite a few times I'll insert some pics and this was my Valentine's Day dress I really I think so was it so feminine and cannot sing enough phrases to wreck fat I love the designers they're my friends they're talented they're amazing they started from the zero and I really want the best for them this blazer this blazer I got gifted from Stella McCartney more than a year ago so um, it was a sample which you can see by by this little label here which says spring summer 2019 size 40 and that's basically it 93% wool I won this as a sample to Stella McCartney's event in June I basically loved it and they were like oh by the way the the like some the clothing you wore are gifts which is not always the case so sometimes I get like you know like I told you about the Louis Vuitton jacket you know like you borrow clothes you wear to events and you return and then they said it's a gift so I got this gifted and it's the best blazer I own it's a simple black blazer again I wore it with the Valentino belt um, belted together or with my Bottega belt. I just love this so much. I think it's a beautiful piece and if you ask me it's like so important to have a simple black blazer like that that I cannot stress enough how important that is and how much I love this blazer. It's definitely one of the most worn pieces. Um, I want to check it out to see if there are any pieces of clothing that I have already returned but I really loved wearing. Okay so my Versace dress. I loved wearing it so so much i think it was beautiful amazing wonderful and i would totally like wear it again a million times then isabel moran colorful dress that i wore to furla presentation in milan i thought that was stunning beautiful piece okay i really loved wearing the acne yellow suit it's somewhere there um i wore that in new york i loved it i'll wear that throughout the whole spring summer some of you commented on wearing too many suits lately but i just just in that kind of mood let's talk about beauty i selected a little box of booties here that i thought i have to mention these are not like air all the products that i use throughout the month but they're the most important ones so the ones i could not have survived without pulling the sleeves guys the product or the fragrance i have to talk to you about is the byredo balda freak i love this fragrance so much oh, i'm obsessed with it it smells divine you just have to smell it that's all i'm gonna say i'm not gonna talk too much about it you have to smell this fragrance it's like kind of spicy but not sweet but not too spicy fresh it's pure perfection for the foundation i used my my personal uh, foundation by lancome i really really love it i thought it was perfect because the color was really matched to me i also used my laura mercier one which you could have seen in my um i did like a mini tutorial of what i used but still i have some products here that i really wanted to mention because i was like the fashion one would like not have been the same without them my laura mercier pure canvas primer illuminating one this is the best primer i have ever used in my whole entire life like whole entire life this is the best thing there is i don't know if you have tried the other primers i have all the laura mercier range they're all great but i have not given them enough chance co comparing to the illuminating one because i'm just constantly using illuminating primer and even even when i'm like not applying foundation on i'm using the illuminating primer i'm obsessed with it clearly i had like an illumination thing in the month so i use the face illuminator in indiscretion it's kind of difficult to explain it's not really a highlighter or it's not popping as much as i would like it to pop but i apply it all over and it gives my skin such a beautiful candle glow why am i doing this with my fingers you should probably i'm gonna get so much hate am i no i'm not you guys love me i love you back our family so this is amazing loved every second of it for my eyes now obsessed with the new uh, Louboutin it's probably not new but for me it's new Cape Lolaile Cape Olay Olay sorry this is here from the needle from my surgery this is the eyeshadow can you see most stunning eyeshadow ever the shade is called Organite I apply this on the inner corners of my eye it stays on the whole day can you see it for mascara, still obsessed, forever will be with the Louboutin mascara. What is this mascara called? Let's just say I'm not going to try and pronounce it. This mascara is so beautiful. It's a little bit heavy, so if you're traveling, you really have to love it in order to be bringing it with you. But I really love it, and I think it's beautiful. I mean, the packaging is just so stunning of Louboutin products. I really love, love Louboutin makeup. The lipsticks, the eyeshadows, the mascara, 
my favorite now a base actually that i use even before laura mercier uh, illuminating primer is the victoria beckham primer but this is more like a skincare because it is uh, in collaboration with agustinus bader who's my favorite for skincare besides la mer this i cannot even tell you what this is called because i think victoria beckham did so great with her skincare range that i've used the product so much and right now there's not a single word on this packaging that i can read message 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 where's my phone is it a cute boy two makeup products to show you we got an eye shadow palette in afterglow this is from nars i mean i'm also wearing it right now on my eyes mainly i'm wearing these two browns these two like peachy and then i liked as well using this orange one that was quite fun when i wore so these were the colors that i wore as you can see as well the shimmers but then i opted for the morganite as my more favorite one i think nars eyeshadows and palettes are just the most divine inventions of the universe and i love them so much that there's just no words that i can use to express how much another palette that i think i had before charlotte tilbury's palette that was like all over like the whole complete face palette this palette is called five minute face on the go this is amazing i love everything from bronzer highlighter blush to the eyeshadows if you have this in your bag you're sorted charlotte tilbury is amazing i love this and also love the lipstick in valentine i think it's called that but i would say i had two favorite lipsticks of the fashion one they're both by chanel both rouge allure ink fusion and there the, something sad happened one of them broke during the modern fashion week if you watched the vlog you know i got out of the car and i broke my favorite chanel lipstick which is a liquid lipstick in a glass bottle i would show you but it's broken and it went all over my boots so that one was like something mauve and this one is called beige naturel i'm gonna apply it right now so you can see this is amazing i love this product so much like i'm almost using it up which is kind of sad but i'm gonna repurchase it's amazing from chanel as well the two uh, nail polishes i've spoken about in paris fashion week i wore them throughout the paris active and smoothing base coat from chanel there it is and then a nail polish which is what you can see on my nails over here which is in ballerina and i applied two coats of this it's beautiful i don't know where i put them but i'm gonna apply it on my nails right now because they're bare at the moment and i don't want to go out to get my nails done with the foot situation and i have four more care products that i thought would be worth mentioning i discovered this in the isle of doom if you know what that is you been to sephora before it's that aisle while you're waiting and then you get distracted and you buy more stuff it's called uh coco rose fudge it looks like a fudge it's a body lotion my skin was very dry during paris fashion week and normally i just love using my kills body lotion but this looks very weird it looks kind of frothy and annoying like like it's not gonna be a body butter and it smells a little bit too rosy for me but it's the most moisturizing product i have ever used in my life i believe that this little pot was like 20 euros so when i saw it i was like why is this like a little pot of body lotion 20 euros that's the most ridiculous thing i'm gonna pay for this before anybody sees because if anybody sees i'm paying 20 euros for this i'm gonna get so judged it's the best thing it's by the brand called truly and i've never tried the brand before i want to try everything by them now and i'm gonna try and research where i can buy it because i really really love it then by beauty pie i've got oxygen instant facial refueling mask with active oxygen and salicylic acid this is amazing because i have pretty calm skin but when i'm applying a lot of makeup i need like a bit of salicylic acid to calm down like the like the inflammatory process of my skin so this and then oxygen in it really nourished my skin throughout the fashion month under eye best thing ever is this tata harper uh, boosted contour eye mask i'm almost used it up i love this this is the best under eye thing ever i can even use this over makeup because it adds like a really nice glow I don't know if you'd be interested in that but trust me it's very moisturizing nourishing and when i sleep with this in the morning i feel like i wake up so much prettier probably just to myself and the last but not the least is my beloved la mer the original creme which i love and has saved my skin throughout the fashion month i really love this product it's for me it's beautiful i know there are so many conspiracies people saying la mer is the same as like whatever it's like not really rich with anything important it's all these conspiracies blah 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 this cream works for me i love it it's amazing i used to purchase this cream before 
I was blogging. I used to buy the small 30ml one at the airports and for me it's the best product for my skin. Maybe it's a placebo, maybe it's whatever, but for me it is a miracle cream. It moisturizes, it does its job and I really love it. So that is the last product i would love you if you could leave me any recommendations for the future videos because i will be at home for a while now and i need your help and i need to film thank you for watching and i'll see you very soon bye guys